For nearly two weeks I wore this monitoring backpack. This is state-of-the-art equipment and it's been measuring the pollution I've been breathing in while working in the capital. It's nice and passive, you just have to kind of carry it around and um, the sensor will be recording 24 hours a day um, and there's also a GPS uh, sensor on there so we're going to be capturing location data so we can look at air quality and location at the same time. The packs can measure small particles called PM 2.5s and the gas nitrogen dioxide. Both are damaging to health. I spend a lot of time out and about in the capital. This is Oxford Street, which is one of the most polluted streets in the world when it comes to nitrogen dioxide. And I also use the tube, trains and buses a lot. So I'll be really interested to find out what I'm actually breathing in. The backpacks are also being used as part of a trial with school children in South East London to see what they're breathing in. After two weeks wearing this backpack, we sent the data off for analysis and the results were stark. There are high levels of pollution, mainly on my commute. That's where we're talking about giving it over the bag and sending you off down Oxford Street. And then we've got these big spikes. So this is where we're talking about getting on, off and on the tubes. We're walking towards um, getting back to um, mm. King's Cross. I mean, bluntly, that looks shocking that there's so many spikes yeah. um, in a normal day for me. Yeah, yeah, I think it's quite representative of a normal London day. And on the tube as well. On the tube as well, yeah. So, so many people are using the tube and um, different public transport links. So, um, that's something that's interesting to see how, uh, how much that's affecting the pollution levels. Well, it's a lovely, bright, sunny day. I'm on Euston Road, which is one of the most polluted roads in London. The air, it feels fresh and cold, but it'd be interesting to see what the backpack actually picks up. It's probably a mixture right. um, of you sort of getting onto the main road and then get what we know that these sorts of spikes are really um, caused by those sorts of transport hubs. I mean, that like goes off the hubs. It's appalling. That's absolutely <laughs> terrifying when you look at it. Yeah. Some of the pollution the backpack has picked up, experts say contribute to strokes and lung cancer and heart disease. So this is Oxford Street. So we show the results to experts at King's College. The largest pollution spikes are when I go on the tube. Yes. Do we know if that's harmful to me or to, to commuters? We don't really. Um, some of it is down to chemical composition, some of it is down to the size of the particles. The particles are somewhat larger than above ground because they're from abrasion, not from combustion, and they're very, very different chemically. So they've got a lot of iron in there and other metals. And as yet, we still don't know whether this is more or less toxic than the kind of, of dust that you're breathing up above ground. Breathing that in, I mean, it can't be good, can it? It can't be good. It, it's, it's something entering your body which shouldn't be there, which I think, even in a precautionary way, we should try and minimise and, and reduce. Green spaces and quieter roads have better air quality, but travelling usually means pollution. You get off at Tufnell Park and that level drops so it's promising to see that the um, time you spent in Hampstead Heath is looking pretty clean. There's another spike here so that's you getting on the bus yeah. and we can see the bus um, journey all the way down back to the office um, and then when you get on the, off the bus we can see that there's a spike there so that might be you walking past um, again some traffic or back past the back of the bus or something like that. It's so striking that that pollution is so high there. Yeah. I mean it's terrifying. To be honest, absolutely terrifying, and you can't do anything about it. No, well, I suppose you could start to maybe wear a face mask or something. I mean, when I saw these results, I was horrified. Should I be horrified? Generally, we don't want to horrify people with these results. What we want to do is is make it come alive, so they really understand air pollution and the challenges that we face in London. And there's two reasons for that. One is actually you can see from your different spikes and your different behaviour that there are things that you can do to avoid pollution. So you can take action to try and miss out some of these spikes. But also, very importantly, if you understand, actually, I can, that's where the pollution is coming from. I get it now. I understand this thing that I thought was this strange, invisible thing that other people talk about. Now it's very personal. I've breathed it in. I will support policies that act to improve the air quality in London. Many Londoners will know about the capital's poor air quality, but seeing it in black and white certainly makes it hit home.